Over the past two years, the trade relation between Israel and India have boomed, thanks to, the, to India's current government. This growth is a, a source of much mutual pride of both of us. Our country's trade is on a steady increase with more than $2 billion in trade every year. Our commercial partnership includes today a growing variety of goods and knowledge, from water treatment to telecom products, from optics to metal, from defense and aviation to diamonds, textile, chemicals, and medical equipment. I come here today to all of you to say loud and clear, India is a top trade partner for Israel today. <laughs> Together, we have built a powerful and strong market. And together, we must work to make this market and as we look with satisfaction at the rapidly growing trade relation between our two countries, the potential for India-Israeli trade can and should grow even larger. We would like to see in the future more, even more than more, mutual investment and trade. Indeed, the possibilities before us are endless. Since September 2014, when Prime Minister Modi introduced his brave Make in India initiative, your country has become the top global destination for direct foreign investment. We have come here today with a unique delegation of leaders from all fields of Israeli industry and business to send out a strong message. We are here to make in India, to make with India. We are here to grow our economies together in full partnership for the benefit of all of us. The message should not remain an empty one. No one is patronizing the other side. We have to be together in order to bring better life to our people and to all the free world. I express here today an official Israeli hope that this visit in India and to India will open the way to a full free trade agreement between our two countries. And, and I am sure, I am sure that the free trade agreement will boost our economies. And I would like once again, from the bottom of my heart, and until this evening, well, uh, when I will have a longer speech, bye bye to all of you and thank you. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I can tell you, Mr. President, this morning in our meetings, uh, we decide about a target that my friend, the President of FIKI, appoint is to triple the trade between Israel and India. And this is the mission that we are taking upon ourselves, and I'm sure that uh, we will be able to reach it. Uh, we think also that it's not just that we can increase our export uh, to India and back to Israel or the import from both countries. We can join and establish new businesses, joint ventures to go together to third countries. And I'm sure that the, the using the advantages and the added value that each of us have by going together and establish joint ventures here in India and in Israel, 
and serving other countries, it will be a big boom for both economies. In agriculture, under the Indo-Israeli Agriculture Project, 10 out of 26 centers of excellence sanctioned by Ministry of Agriculture have already been completed and commissioned for transfer of technologies. So India's second generation green revolution will happen with great assistance and cooperation from Israel. Farmers are already reporting huge success in Karnal, Haryana, where Israeli farm technology has helped farmers to switch to vegetables and floriculture, resulting in diversification and increased earnings to farmers. And this is all thanks to Israel. Many such demo farms are also operating in Maharashtra. I think in water management, we have a long way to go. We have to learn from the knowledge, expertise, and the experience of Israel. Water will be our India's biggest challenge. In many ways, how India manages its water resources will be the key to India's future. Israel's expertise in water management and conservation, drip irrigation, needs to be utilized by India to manage its water challenges.